Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is Dave Hayes of Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Uh, I am back with another video. Uh, this one here is for the Nexus 6. Um, and this ROM here is called Nitrogen OS uh, Nougat. Um, I've been running it now for a couple days. I didn't want to release it right off the bat or release this video. I mean, obviously, I didn't build the ROM. Um, because I, uh, I usually like to make sure the video or that the uh, ROMs are uh, running good. I don't want to put a video out. Uh, and encourage anybody to flash anything that uh, I can't run on my phone um, and I'm running it great uh, so far everything's working call quality um, uh, data uh, data's working Wi-Fi is working uh, Bluetooth I'm not having any issues with Bluetooth now I don't uh, I do not have um, a Bluetooth device for my car um, so when I say that I mean uh, for me to play my music over and stuff I do have a portable Bluetooth device for my car for uh, making phone calls and stuff, but um, So I can't test that part of it guys So if you have any input and you want to put it in the uh, videos description or not the description but uh, post uh, You know in the video so everybody else that's watching this um, can find out uh, that would be awesome um, So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the about phone right now um, And let you guys see that this is nitrogen OS uh, for the Nexus 6 uh, This is Android version 7.0 uh, you guys will notice that my model number says Pixel XL. That is because I'm running uh, the Pixel Google uh, uh, the Pixel Assistant. That, that's what it's called. Google <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, it's working, guys. Uh, it does work on the Nexus 6. Um, all you got to do is basically change your name, and just don't don't worry about that. It, it does that once in a while, but it's working for the most part. Uh, yeah, basically all you're doing is changing the device name to Pixel XL, um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, there's something else you do. Uh, I you know if you guys really want that, I'll put a link to that in the description too. If you want to go ahead and run that, uh, but there's a lot of uh, articles online that uh, is actually um, uh, telling you how to do stuff like that. So we're gonna get back to the wrong. Uh, I am running Elemental X kernel. Uh, I just want to make sure that this is not force encrypting, so I run Elemental X kernel. I also flash uh, the FED patch, guys. Remember, FED, that's uh, forced encryption disabler. Uh, make sure, if you're not sure about the ROM, and you are, uh, uh, if you're non-encrypted, and you want to stay that way, make sure that you flash that FED patch. Uh, it just, it's just, you know, peace of mind, all right? Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go back and we're going to go ahead and get into the custom uh, settings on this because you guys all know what's in standard settings uh, as far as um, uh, Nougat goes. Uh, and I'll tell you something else. Before we get into that, I want to talk a little bit about the super user. Uh, when you run this ROM, uh, the uh, OP says or the developer says do not flash SuperSue and don't. Uh, the ROM comes with Magisk SuperSue already uh, built right into the ROM. Uh, so he has a link for you to download the uh, the Magisk uh, Super User app. Um, it's a zip. You just zip it and you're good to go. You've got everything you need and it is working right out of the box, guys. Everything is working right out of the box. I do recommend the Magisk Manager. It's an app. It'll let you uh, switch permissive or not and uh, it allows you to turn your route on and off. I do recommend that. All right, uh, into the personalizations. This ROM comes with a lot of personalizations. First off, I was going to get rid of my battery up there in the top. Uh, it's not the hexagon uh, blue with the 96% in it. It's the Android with the circle around it. That is one of the battery options that this ROM comes with, and we'll get to that too. So we're going to go to status bar right now. Um, under status bar items, of course, guys, this is going to be where you go to pick and choose what you actually want to show on your status bar. Uh, just, you know, tick it on or off. Uh, under clock and date settings, uh, you can go to center settings if you want. Uh, this is going to be if you want AM, PM, your, uh, your actual day and all that on there. Uh, that's where you set that up at. Uh, battery display. This is one I wanted to talk about. Um, battery, uh, you can have it either to never show. Uh, if I click on that, uh, that battery just now disappeared. Uh, if I click on it again to show always, it comes back. Um, and down, I'm trying to figure out where the battery, a uh, style right here. Those are the styles that it gives you. I mean, this is really cool. Uh, if you guys don't run the three minute mod uh, like me, I mean, I'm a three minute mod fan from way back. I love it. That's my preference. But if you guys aren't, 
uh, you know, I went without it for a while and I was very happy with that little Android battery. It's just a little touch of custom. I think it's awesome. Uh, so, you know, again, these are one of those little touches that I like and I, and I really do like this ROM. Uh, you can show percentage, all that. Um, they actually allow you to color it also uh, while it's charging. So when this is plugged in, that circle uh, around the Android will turn red. So or whatever color you guys want to make it. So again, that's a really cool, uh, really cool custom feature to have in the ROM. Uh, network and traffic, you guys know that's just to show incoming, outgoing, uh, you know, data that you're downloading, uploading. Um, you can have a show or not show. That's entirely up to you. Um, then you have your selector notification and your Bluetooth device battery. If you want to show your device's battery on, you know, it, it'll, uh, it'll all show that as well. Uh, quick settings. You have your layout, uh, number of tiles and rows per column. Uh, this one, just like 6ROM, which is another outstanding NuGet ROM. Um, this one allows you to change up the uh, settings uh, for your dropdown. And this is what I mean by your dropdown. Um, I actually have mine set up for four rows deep, three rows wide. Uh, I would actually like it to go a little bit further, you know, five rows, six rows, seven rows down. That's how I like my drop down. I do not like swiping to the left like that. I just think it's a wasted uh, motion. Um, but apparently Android doesn't or Google doesn't. That's how they designed it. So I hope uh, as the ROM building goes and custom features get put in that this is completely done away with and it's all just up and down. But I'm glad that feature's there. Uh, it does allow me to at least get most of the features I use set up right on the first screen. So uh, that's what that's for. Uh, next up is going to be a quick pull down. You can have it uh, set up. I think it's just right. No, they give you uh, three different positions or completely off. Uh, then you're going to have number, uh, oops, uh, no, uh, no QS settings uh, when secured. You have your brightness slider, brightness icon. Uh, let me see, Wi-Fi, all that. I mean, this is pretty much what's on most of the other ones. Um, actually, I wanted to show you something else, too, if I can find it. Uh, let's go back to layout. No, let's go to quick pull. No, no, no. Uh, anyways, uh, next one's going to be the buttons. Uh, you can enable your hard work keys, uh, enable backlight, all that is there. Your volume rocker keys, if you guys want to set those up. Another nice feature about this ROM, uh, it allows you to set up for long press, double taps. Um, all of that you can do uh, with your back, you know, with your back button, your home key, and your recent key. Uh, you can have them all set up um, like this. Uh, you know, just like you can set up your rocker volumes to your volume rockers to do whatever you want. Uh, this one here allows you to customize your uh, your soft keys. Uh, let's see your back button. You have your kill app back uh, button all the way at the bottom there and your long press timeout. I usually, it's set on default right now. I usually have it set a little higher, although I haven't had any issues with it um, inadvertently, uh, you know, getting it to kill the app when I just meant to go back. Uh, so I'm going to leave it the way it is. Uh, nav bar is up next. Uh, you can enable it, disable it. Um, actually, I have it enabled. Uh, if I disable it, yeah, you can actually disable it. Um, I'm going to go back to having it enabled. Uh, this is going to be where you can uh, actually change it around if you want. You can move the, you know, you can move them where you want um, just by grabbing it and sliding it. Uh, and then what you do is hit save up there. Uh, you can actually add buttons to it by clicking the add button. Uh, so again, that's pretty cool. Uh, let me see. Oh, you have your multi-ROM or multi-window uh, swipe up gesture. Uh, I am going to go ahead and uh, enable that. Uh, under gestures, uh, double tap to sleep, uh, nav bar, and your lock screen. Uh, you know, th this is where you double tap to uh, make it sleep uh, either on your status bar, nav bar, uh, or on your lock screen. I don't use those features, but it's nice that they have them. Uh, these are going to be your lock screen settings. Uh, rotate lock screen. Thank you. Uh, that is one thing I needed. Another option that I like. Uh, let me go in here and go to my lock screen real quick. Real quick. Real quick. I'll let you see what it looks like. Notice 
I have weather on there. This ROM has that built into it. So that's another really nice feature about this ROM. And you guys, remember, just give the other ROMs time. They're probably going to have a lot of these features in it. But this so far is the first one I've seen that's got these features. And it's pretty cool. Uh, you have your lock screen torch. Um, power menu. Oops. Uh, power menu is just like on Pure Nexus. Um, this gives you a ton of options. Uh, I think um, uh, OctoS uh, also is another ROM that just gives you a lot of options on your power menu. Uh, and if you guys know me from watching any of my videos in the past, you know I like those options. I use my power menu like uh, my quick settings. Uh, under your recent settings, there's nothing there. Hopefully, since he has it on there, uh, there are going to be some changes or some updates uh, to this. That would be awesome. Uh, notifications. Uh, you got your heads up. You can turn it on or off or actually do uh, your settings. at You know, have your white list, whatever. I always turn mine off. I don't like heads up. Uh, notification light. Uh, you can actually set it up, uh, color it. Um, I, I can't tell you guys whether or not it works. I really didn't notice, uh, you know, on it whether or not, um, you know, I got any notifications. So, uh, actually, I have one showing. Let me see if I turn the screen off if my light comes on. No. So, all right. So, I, I can't really attest whether or not it's working uh, as far as the uh, notifications go, though. Um, uh, you have your battery light. You can change them around. Uh, force expanded notification. Show notification count. Uh, which I usually have on. I don't know why I don't have that turned on. And then these are your power notification controls. You can turn that on or off. Uh, that allows you to pick how many notifications you actually want showing on your lock screen. Uh, last but not least is going to be miscellaneous. Uh, this is where you, uh, you set up that clock widget. Um, and also, once you set that up, it'll be on your lock screen as well, if you choose uh, weather on lock screen. So... Uh, that's where you're going to go to set that up. It's your standard clock widget, um, but it's pretty cool that it's in the settings, in the custom settings. And it's, it's just all around a really cool ROM. I really like it. Um, they do give you the option in here for your MPT uh, instead of charging whenever you're plugged into a computer, uh, which is another cool thing. You don't have to you don't have to go right in there and always uh, you know click from charging to MPT uh, or file transfer or anything like that. It's already set up to do your file transfer swaps, so you're good to go. Uh, and then, of course, wake on charge. Uh, if you guys want to have that option ticked on, that's where you go for that. That is it for the custom or personal settings. Uh, they do give you the app ops. Uh, you know, we're used to seeing that in Synogen Mod uh, and, and on some of the other AOSP ROMs uh, that they've come out with. I'm glad to see that they have it there. Uh, again, I just wanted to bring up again super user. Uh, it is just that. Uh, it is super user. It's not um, uh, chain fire super sue. Uh, this is Magisk. And like I said, I highly recommend the Magisk manager. Uh, it allows you to switch. And I'll show you that, guys, right now. Um, I'll go into my Magisk manager real quick. I remember I couldn't find it last time. Uh, it's under M. Right there it is. Listen to me, under M. All right, there it is. Um, as, you, as you guys can see, this tells you what your status is. Root status is mounted. Uh, SE Linux status is in, uh, enforcing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch that to permissive. As you can see, super suit granted. Now it's in permissive. Um, another thing I want to bring up about this ROM is the... And I don't have a shortcut made. Can you believe that? Uh, substratum. Uh, this ROM is actually... Come on. There we go. This ROM actually has Substratum with the um, uh, Masquerade built right in too. So when you, uh, when you enable a theme on here, it will automatically set the theme, do a system UI restart for you. You do not have to reboot your phone. Uh, this is not running in a legacy mode on this ROM. It is in uh, Masquerade mode. So it's running perfectly out of the box. I've seen some of the Nougat ROMs where they were having problems with it. I've had no problems at all with this one. Absolutely zero issues. Um, I will say uh, Tronic Dart, um, for me, it's running. Uh, I, did, I did get it working on this phone. Um, I don't recommend you do, though, until uh, Tronic's uh, developer says that it's good to go for N. Um, but I'm just going to let you guys know that I tried it, at least the last version of it, and it's working. 
I didn't have any issues with it. But then that's my phone. All phones are different, guys. Remember, uh, I will tell you, Divinity works very well, uh, as does Deity. Um, I've tried pretty much every one of these. Uh, Neat is another outstanding um, theme. If you guys haven't tried it, you really need to try it. The theme I'm running today is called Shade UI. Uh, Shade UI actually allows you to uh, change the look of your your system UI and your drop down. It really doesn't do much for like the, the Play Store and um, uh, Google Plus and stuff like that, but, but you should be running theme ready apps already. And if you're anything like me, I run, uh, I run Team Blackout's uh, Clear um, G apps. So my, my uh, Google apps are already themed. They're either themed clear or they're themed black. Um, so I really don't need to theme them with, uh, uh, with a custom theme. So, but I just wanted you guys to see that is the theme that I'm running. Well, guys, I think I've kept you long enough. Um, again, this is an outstanding ROM. Uh, I do highly recommend you give it a try. Uh, it's Nitrogen OS uh, for the Nexus 6. Uh, you can get it on uh, XDA thread. Um, actually, here's my tablet. Uh, let you guys see who the developer is there quickly, if you can read that. Uh, Nitin, I know I'm going to kill his name. Uh, Nitin Chobi. Uh, Chobhi. <laughs> Anyways, uh, a very, very good developer. He's the one that uh, brings us um, XOSP, uh, you know, uh, the one with the, uh, with, with the Sony apps um, on the ROM. Uh, a, a very, very talented developer. Um, guys, I highly recommend you give it a try. Um, I want to thank all of my subscribers, and I will see you guys on the next one.